Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Greetings. Greetings indeed. Okay, so today we're going to be trying to make some progress on our hardcore playthrough here. Okay. I was also playing around with creative for a little while, mostly just spawning in ships I found on the workshop. I'm looking at them, also spawning as many as I can to see at what point the game starts to not like it. Well, I, did, I definitely hit the limit. I wasn't able to go through all of the blueprints that I had uh, taken from the workshop, so. Takes quite a bit to get the game to kind of just say enough. Anyway, quite a bit of stuff that we're going to have to do here. Okay. Protein? No protein. Uh. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to dig out the rest of this base. We have a flak cannon currently sitting up there right now. Vices, excess. Currently making a bunch of bullets. We have to go and bring over. Okay, that's good. We don't need it anymore. Don't need to make all of those bullets, just enough. Daytime? Burgers. Radiated fog, which we don't care about. It's pretty cool that it tries to reflect the environment around me. Light on. They look birds. Oh, we got a radiated module, so. Okay. Well, that is being created. I'm going to go back over to. I feel like I should make a landing pad over there. Okay. Ground module, landing pad small, factory, lots of iron. Hard for that. I think I also want to be able to make. Probably just make a cannon. The regular kit. Over there. Yeah, let's do that. That way we can start getting our defenses put in place. Most importantly, getting ourselves to where we're all set up with all that. Used, okay. Radiated fog's coming in, but we got a radiation module, so it brought us up to. Uh, 
a radiation of six. Turn on main power. Turn on main power. Executing now. Here, got the bullets off. I was going to have to power this thing. Uh, fuel in this. Do we have fuel with us? No, we don't. We got no such thing as fuel right now. So. We're gonna have to take care of that here soon. Think of this. Yes. Okay, turrets here. Uh, predators, no. Turn off all that. Weapons by the group. A flat cannon. Um, yeah. Wanted to make sure that it wouldn't just start shooting at every predator that came by. Here. situation on that turret make sure that this thing will be operational before the next wave of drones show up Fuel is here. Go. Mm -hmm. Goes away. Let's see. Over to here. Go with 10. I'll make 20. That should give us enough fuel to be able to light up our our base and also add some fuel to the current hardpoint. bit of farming here real quick. <laughs> no 
Okay. this turret up to yeah copper ingots 14 copper ingots that work I have to go and get more copper though production Yeah. A cannon up in rain over there. And it requires thirty millimeters. Twenty of those. will definitely keep us occupied for a while since we can walk around inside of this uh, inside of all this we're good inside of all the uh, radiation I mean there we go 75 good okay this powered on bullets total for a clip, huh? Back up. Quick landing here. Here. Go through and dig us out some more. We also have to make uh, hangers just by themselves. Prince done. Hopefully the drones have fixed themselves. It'd be really nice for a bit be finished I mean for it to work this time Get a drill right here. Right. Dude.
Okay. Come on. To the back of the of the hangar, please. Didn't mind. I don't think I made this uh, hangar t uh, too deep. It was too terribly... A little bit more ago, I guess. Once we see the, the containers in the back, then we'll know we're, that we're there. There they are. That's the back. I think I'll just leave that there. Just to... Make it look like... You know, for decoration. <clears throat> we got more storage down here.
probably leave portions of this area down here to be just rem remain rock in the corners so that gives the dug in feel of the station of the uh, base. Control block. Not like raining. It's almost nearly completely dug out. to the engine room. Where our main oxygen and fuel tanks are located. This is located right underneath the hangar. Now I could leave this completely on the ground, but I want to be able to have access to it so that in case I want to be able to upgrade, I can. downside is that this, this area is just as massive as the hangar deck it's just it's two blocks tall rather than I think it's like four blocks tall no three blocks tall
<clears throat> Down here, I'm not uh, caring too much about. Not caring too much about the corners because I, I do want it to look like it's in the ground. There we go. Warning drones on their way. Ah, well, luckily we have a. Uh, Defenses up. Black guns. Put a cannon over here. They're going to be coming from where it says copper deposit. This and then platform on. There we go. That it looks solid. I'm gonna sit back and I'm gonna wait for these drones to show up. Make sure that this flat cannon works. Hang out. The real kicker. If it doesn't work, then we'll take them out. <clears throat> I'll take them out manually with the uh, the dart. check something out. Go into the... I'm gonna check the turret here. here. Explosion damage, 500. Explosion radius, 3. Fire. Station speed. Current range, 495. Max range. 1.14. So if they're under 500 meters in range, so half a kilometer, it will open fire. Okay. Cannon. Their hand. Cannon beam. There we go. Cannon on the other hand. Okay, 405. So the flat cannons will kick in before the flat cannon will kick in before the regular cannon.
still, we're trying to make it to where... I'm going to make this to where they will... They'll progressively get hit by more and more and more stuff the closer they get. You know, if it's small and... If it's small and weak, then it will get hit by the furthest away things, and, you know, big deal. We move on. The heavier the target is, the more they'll get hit by stuff the closer they get, because they're able to survive more stuff. Go this way. See if the drones are even doing anything. They are. Are they stuck in place? Yeah, there's something wrong with the something wrong with the drones right now. Yeah, they're lagging out. They're lagging out pretty bad. No. Oh. Decided to attack this base instead. One. Yeah, the the AI is the drone AI is definitely lagging out. You saw it kind of just hop, do this. I don't think that's uh, how they're supposed to work huh. at all. Right here. Too bad those things don't require mini gun rounds because I got plenty of those. It's working.
Yep, same spot. More fuel. Drop you all off here. Any gun rounds. Okay. Seem to have been attracted to the first uh, base they came across. Still, they're hiccuping. So, they're not. It wasn't a good test of our defenses right now. that here don't care about predators don't care about turrets okay on the main turn it off okay cannon up and rain we got a flak turret we got a cannon Everything's cleared out over there. Good. We got the minimum amount of defense currently set up. Okay, let's take care of a, the ability to land on a relatively flat, well, on a flat surface. Because we're going to be moving around a lot. Okay. Turn off main power. Engaging. here <clears throat> grab 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 turn on burger burger check our fuel levels Looking good three percent Some uh, check our iron here and good factory and okay, 14 copper ingots. And I need uh, probably a ton of, yeah, we need a lot of iron. that please how much iron do we have not enough <clears throat> okay so we're gonna have to go and get some iron gotta get some iron gotta get some copper yeah take care of that here soon 
lots and lots of iron. That way we can start making landing pads. Hey, Thunderbolt, how's it going? Go we'll take care of that. Where's our nearest? That's our copper deposit. Our nearest iron deposit is way down here. Over near the alien tower. So we're probably going to have to go down there. I think that place is safe. I don't, I'm not quite sure. I don't know if there's ground troops down there. So we should probably go. That seems to be where all of our iron is right now. All the way down there. Go to that iron deposit, but it's a small one. Yeah. And there's a bunch of protium deposits over there. But it looks like all of... I feel like all, all the ground troops are located in the southern hemisphere. But we'll go over there just to check. We'll use our aircraft to get there. Turn on main power. Yes, sir. We're going to use the wedge to get there. Check it out. Actually, I should probably sleep. Get to daytime as quickly as possible here. But currently right now we're filling out the mid game base, the mountain base. Turn off main power. Engaging. Rock, rock, rock. There we go. Eight time, please. We got plenty of this, plenty of that. Make finish off all the gold. I just want it to be daytime so I could see the ground troops if we get too close. Turn on main power. As you wish. We'll go check it out. <sighs> I've also. I'm also thinking about creating kind of like a a monument. Not in this playthrough. On the one that on my playthrough that's actually gonna last a long time. Hungry, so I should probably I'm gonna go here, look at it, see if it's got any ground troops around it. If it does, then we'll pick a different iron deposit. Because I don't wanna get shot in the back by a rocket launcher. By ground troop. But yeah, on my longer playthrough, I'm thinking about making like a monument to uh, subscribers where I'll put their names on it. And every single time I add a name, I'll save it. So that on later playthroughs we can just spawn it in and add to it. Yeah. I'm not getting shot at yet. This might be safe ish. It's kinda of hanging out here waiting for any stray shots.
Iron deposit safe. Good. Okay, so that's a good iron deposit. Go and take out the mine out. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's why I wasn't gonna do any mining. I was gonna. I was just gonna go check out, make sure that the. Uh, make sure everything was uh, okay. And that it wasn't defended by, you know, hostile creatures, things with uh, bullets. <laughs> Some parts of the ship didn't survive. No. I don't think uh, the steel. Uh, I don't think the steel hull would uh, do us any good. No, nope, we didn't want that. Turn off main power. Turn off main power. Acknowledged. There we go. Had some food being made over here anyway. There it is. Jesus. It takes forever for that that sound to end. This crunch, 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 crunch. It's like a good ten seconds. Of unneeded sound. Turn on main power. Acknowledged. Okay. Well, let's dig into this iron deposit. In fact, I probably put the monument right next to the escape pod. The starting point. Which I would have to make it big enough to where I could add a ton of names onto. Probably be like an obelisk or something like that. A little bit closer. Down to this iron deposit right here. Right on top of it, good. Oh, wrong way. I have not much time to watch the stream, but 10 or 15 minutes, I think, can do get back to work. Not a problem. Not a problem. Pretty much, uh, for the most part. The streams for me are like the only time I have free time. So, I understand. We have to get our real life stuff out of the way. Can't let your our IRL stuff kind of just fall to pieces. Yeah, real life. 
It's a the gameplay sucks, but at least the graphics are okay. <laughs> yeah, that is very true. We got three medium deposits of iron ore right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get enough to be like 200. That should give us enough uh, iron to be able to make our landing pads. Well, make a landing pad at least. Because one of the biggest uh, hurdles for this particular mountain base is that we're on a slope. So finding places to land that are close enough to where we can easily get in and out of our base is, is a requirement. Something we're also going to need for our... For the uh, underground base that we're going to have for late game too. Which I gotta make a. I'm gonna have to make a concrete version of this landing pad, too. That way we have a cheaper option for early game if we want it. Which, if we made a cheaper version, it would be a concrete column and then the very top would be iron what are we doing yeah more we got the time I'm really gonna I'm really pushing it right now I'll push it see if I can get to 500 We're gonna need a lot of iron. If I have more iron than I need, then I can make more than just one landing pad. Then we can start thinking about moving most of our stuff over to the new, the new base. Almost there. I'm gonna figure out how to make it to where the mountain rain actually has some uh, danger to it. I'm quite sure you could get hit by lightning. That's one thing. I feel like should, there should be like a penalty for getting wet. Maybe. wouldn't be it wouldn't be much of a 
you know, a worry if you're in a spacesuit, mind you. We're done here. We got iron. Let's see here. We got a medium copper right here. Get that me. Let's get that medium copper instead. There's the copper, 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 copper. There. That's. We'll go for this one instead. Get that copper deposit. The closest one to us. We'll get that one instead. And it's a medium. Medium deposit. I think it's kind of weird that the uh, the first slot right now is the rocket launcher and the second slot is the chain gun. Not weird. Not quite sure how that ended out happening. It probably is because I added them uh, on Just because I added them on. Not quite sure. Okay, we good. We good, we good. Dig down, get the copper here. Oh, there he is. There's Glub Glub over there. Performance issues. Oh, really? This is going to cause you to stop respawning? That's weird. Get wrecked. Yeah. I heard the glove gloves, so I was just like, eh, I'm going to fix that real quick. And my mouse ended up outside of the game, so. I wasn't quite sure if those things were ranged, so I just wanted to make sure it was dead. goal my goal is to get myself at least 300 of each 500 would be best that way we can get this out of the way and we don't have to get supplies for a while We also have to make that tank. Gotta get that hover tank made so we can start taking up points of interest. It should allow us to start gathering things like medium armor Maybe we'll get an, an enhanced sniper rifle or assault rifle or at least that's the hope. Let's 
Too bad the drones don't work. Too bad the drones are screwed up because this would be a perfect time for our defenses to be. Uh, for our defenses to be tested. I'm kind of just placing them up for decoration right now. I need to. I need to know if they're working. And can't do that. If the drones are gonna just get stuck. Radiated fog. Yay for us. Yeah, if we get up to 5.2, it's going to go up to 5.5 .5 here in a second. Here. There it is. Gonna stay there for a while. Reload. Two hundred something. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Gimme. Give gimme, give gimme. Give ground is the ground's mining is like cell based there's a certain amount of quote unquote damage you have to do to a particular section of the wall and then it and then it disappears much like you would destroy a block and then the uh, terrain adjusts itself based off of what you've destroyed. How are we doing? 370? Okay. That weighs. Nearly there. Got like 60 more units of copper ore.
Reloading. A little bit more, and then we'll get out of here. Go and get some silicone. Silicon deposit. Why do we have two marked? A oh, one. Well, that's a protein deposit. Yeah, fuck it. Let's go. Since we're in the mining mood, we might as well just go and get it. I was expecting a lot more spiders uh, at our second base. I was expecting a lot more. Oh. oh. Hi, you. See me and you here. Just checking. Methodical and cautious. are feeling hot. Oh, fuck. Take care of that, shall we? Oh, there we go. Yeah. Just... I'm going to try and stand somewhere where I'm not going to overheat. Down we go. I'm probably gonna have to invest in that mining of a craft here soon too. <clears throat> There's the silica. Silicone. Yeah. First hour, we dug some holes and cleared out our base a little bit. Made 
Got two turrets up and running at our new base. So we need 400 of this. Which is a good portion of this deposit. I think these medium ones are like a thousand units. Or at least close. Full stack. I think that. the yawn. Hey Tuesdays. <laughs> Let's say I've got the better decent. Right. Let me grab some coffee. I heard something. I'm afraid that there's like a pack of raptors going to all of a sudden show up. Horrible. We've got so far. Oh, this stuff takes forever to mine through. Yeah, I watched a watched a video, you know, explaining you know, why we like playing this game, and I can I definitely agree that it, the mining is the slowest part. Definitely, definitely something that should be streamlined a little bit more.
to reloading. this just to make sure that I don't have to go mining for a while after this. should probably you should probably put like a reflective you know gloss to the silicon rather th so that's not just gray I mean gray gr you know the gray rock kind of helps it blend in a little bit okay Makes it really hard to spot. Potato. Okay. We'll land ourselves here. Turn off main power. Initiating. There we go. Gotta eat some. Turn on. Food. Going here. Going to devices. Access. Hey, look, a gold ingot. Produce. Just to make sure that we've got the power to make all that. And we're waiting on that then. We're waiting on that. I'm gonna get up, get coffee. It should be done by the time I get back. Hey, look, drones are attacking my base. Good thing we've got a cannon and a minigun to defend. Yes, I'll be right back. Coffee. Coffee.
Okay. Okay. Alright. Okay. There we go. Food. What you doing in my base? Alien insect. That, grab that, grab these, go over here. Beep. Okay. Woohoo, daytime. Nice. That way, put that way. Still got the stupid minigun rounds on me. There we go. Good. So, gonna do here. This, that, and the other thing. Oh, God. Really? More? Yep. Get more. Guess we're getting more iron. I think we're off by like 20. production you need this for the mountain side base and once we get all that kind of figured out then we're going to probably shut this base down and start moving stuff over in fact i'm probably going to leave all of the farms here This will be like our farming area. It'll be our farm slash. Yeah, it'll be our farm slash fuel production. So this is where all of our biofuel would be made. As we got so a lot of flat space here, relatively speaking, and it will be nice and close. Hey, jerk. Tooth. Sure that we've not completely destroyed everything. Our mobile turret has got to get fixed. Yeah, the small base was going to be pretty much left here for the sake of creating hydrogen fuel, you know, making hydrogen, making fuel, making all that kind of stuff. Fuel production. Oh, there's a drone on its way. How about that? It lasts long. Okay, let's go check it out. 
Turn on main power. Acknowledged. Check out what it dropped for us. amazing we actually had a drone on its way and not hiccuping Isn't that beautiful ain't that beautiful side well, we know the cannon works that's another reason why I want to move to the other base is so that we have more chances for our base to our new base to be under attack and see if the flak gun is, you know, useful. Turn off main power. Turn off main power. Yes, Captain. Insects. The waiting. Oh, come on now. You're fine. Shit. Shh. Go over here. Real quick. Or is it? There it is. First aid. Okay. We're at level 12. What technically? What technically? Well, are we at level 12? Yeah, we're at level 12. And why does the tech tree... Oh, we have to unlock advanced... Advanced character, right. Well, blueprint's finished. Landing pad. I'm gonna take care of that real quick. Turn on main power. Accepted. Place this thing. Relatively close to the entrance to our... Medium base. Mountain base will allow us to be able to land aircraft onto spacecraft. Okay, got a good spot. Turn off main power. Engaging. Okay. I want it to be by this entrance. That's not in the way of the hangar. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Angle is like... There we go. It need to be it needs to be similar in angle to on in there we go and go up a little bit oh wait further away, shall we? Up, up. Come on. Trying to get close enough. Turn 
or won't interfere with, with the rest of the base here. The mouse, the drone likes to overcorrect. There we go. Do that. Yes. That's close enough. Yeah, that'll, that'll be fine. There we go. Way better. Turn on main power. Affirmative. There we go. Now we can do this. Turn off main power. Acknowledged. Now we have ease of access. To our base. Okay, so we got the constructor, which at any time we can upgrade to advanced. We've got storage for hovercrafts that we can park in there, hence the ramp. Eventually we will upgrade this thing into a larger one and also maybe even a one that has a no no cover we do want one that has a repair bay on it though so that we can land our our vehicles and repair them when needed they're not main power yes sir Any pad, good. Plus, that drone didn't. Uh, we got no warning saying that we got we, that we are under attack, which is kind of weird. Off main power. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Be here. Now we're looking for the light tank. Next one we have to make. Okay, so we need 300 iron, hundreds of copper, iron 50, iron 40. Start with iron first. Three hundred. Three hundred fifty. That much copper, go oh, 150. Okay, and 
and then we Sethium ingots. Got plenty of. I think that's it. Got that. Got that. Got that. Got that. Fair production. Give me a tank. We're gonna need rockets. Rockets for the hovercraft. Yeah. The rocket turrets. Need to unlock rocket turrets. Vessels. Rocket turrets. Unlock. Here we go. We good. Here one mechanical. Needs to go though. Let's make a bunch of these. Maybe a bunch of rockets. Maybe it hurts. Okay. Uh, you here. Got you there. Got a flux coil. You here. Okay. Apparently we just ran out of materials. Magnesium powder. Oh, we need magnesium. We need more magnesium. Yeah. Guess we're gonna have to make a trip to the moon. To get that. I'm gonna have to. We are definitely gonna have to make a. Uh, we're gonna have to make a, like a mountainside hangar. A mountainside hangar expansion so we can put these all of our hovercrafts underground. For the mid game. Basically turning them into like uh, sentry turret uh, emplacements, but they defend the. But instead, they defend the uh, hovercrafts, so they can be underground, and the entrance will be defended by sentry turrets. Kind of like what they do with U-boats. Uh, we have this, you know, basically this inco this covering on it, where the entrance is defended. But what? Start moving our food over to our new base. Let's start moving stuff over. Turn on main bar. Yes, Captain. Begin the move. I also have to move all the all the supplies over too. We also have to make sure that this thing has got power. Got enough power to keep running. Crunch, crunch, crunch.
we're doing this until the tank is finished. Then we gotta fuel the tank, we gotta put ammunition in the tank. This will allow us to be able to start taking up points of interest, trying to get XP really quickly. And gathering any supplies that we... that we're going to need for late game. That's the... Um... For now. Major things, yeah. All been removed and turn this off now. And we'll start moving over all of our ingots and our other items. take on that colony that's nearby. Stage stuff. Okay, you're good. Right. Do this real quick. Oh, yeah. And keep our power levels up. our new base. In fact, we could probably start siphoning off power from our old base to our new base. from here doesn't look like it no gravity generator still over here we'll keep all these because this is where the farm is going to be located yeah we start grabbing all of this then here uh, and start kind of just transferring them all over and we will downgrade that particular base to the farm where uh, we're gonna make several farms we need to make a spice farm over there
I need that. What we'll do is we'll rename these waypoints. So that one will be called farm and the other will be called home. Warning, drones on their way. Oh, good thing we already got defenses up. have a flat cannon and a cannon over here. In fact, I probably want to put like a something that looks like a watchtower at the top of the mountain. Almost like we'll have like crew up there kind of monitoring the, the situation. Like they're the reason why we get the uh, the reports of incoming drones or something like that. There's a lot of things we can do for this new base. So I know it's empty. Yes. I feel like there's something wrong with the base attacking drones. They seem to get extremely hung up when they first spawn in. Everything moved over. Go into here. There we go. More fuel. Add to the base. Yeah, how are we doing on the Two minutes left. Not bad. 
or let's put some stairs right there. I guess I should put stairs right there. Probably concrete stairs. Go for concrete stairs. So that I can easily get up and down here. There. There. Good. Good, good, good. Over here or over there? I don't know. Go check. Okay, they're not here. Wonder which uh, base they decided to attack. Probably my farm. They usually, when it's the farm, they usually spawn out in this direction. Hmm. That's not... Okay. Don't know where they are. Somewhere. Yeah. Okay, so we've got everything pretty much moved over. A ton of backup equipment in here. Great. That's uh. Moving uh, oxygen over. I gotta figure out how to get all of my vehicles to come over. I'm, th I'm probably gonna go by motorcycle. Things like the dart and all that. Blueprint successful. Yay. Turn off me and bar. Accepted. Okay. Oxygen. Proper oxygen off. There we go. Oxygen taken care of. Now we can just kind of hang out up in here. With our health kit and all that. Checking everything over here. Okay. Things are good. We're good. Yep. Yep. We good. Everything is fine. Okay, so we got our structure here. We've got some overflow right there. Base. We got cannon. I think we got our cannon filled up there. Double check. 
Turn on main power. Yes, Captain. Just double checking to make sure everything is a okay, ready to go. Make sure every all the turrets are fueled. Fueled? That's a word. Yes. Good on that front. Good on that front. That front. Black turret is done. Cannon's done. Landing pad's done. Mountain base is done. Let make some fuel for the tank. Turn off main power. Turn off main power. Engaging. Okay, get the blueprint created. Not quite sure if the tank will fit inside of the hangar here, but. Put this somewhere. There. Okay. Tank. May not look like much, but it works. Like this. Put the rockets in. Okay, so the tank is ready to go. Check out. Make some fuel. We can fly so we can drive this thing around. Yeah. Make some, uh, where is it? Full of six wire generators. Let's go. Six wire generators. We're gonna put them over at the uh, water's edge at the bottom of the mountain. What we're gonna do here, food, real quick. We can look it down and look at our landing pad. Wherever we feel like it. What's really cool about this uh, particular slope too is that um, it's extremely sharp. So even it, uh, in theory, ground troops won't be able to get up here in theory. Practice though, I don't know. I don't know if they, uh, I don't know if they're uh, restricted by the same standards as the player is. As soon as we have enough fuel, we'll put it in the tank and we'll see if we can get if we can shove it in here. Hopefully we can. But I'm not 100 percent sure on that. Okay, let's see here. Blueprint. Uh, small farm. Factory. 
Okay, 240 iron ingots. I'm gonna make a spice. We're gonna make a spice uh, farm and we're gonna make a herb farm. Two of the major things that we need to be able to make. We're gonna put them over at our now designated farm. Okay, so this is now be called farm zero one in case we have more than one. Okay, that's now farm mid game base. We'll delete that. Delete, thank you. And we are going to called cannon. And pad one. Do that. And we're gonna call this home. This is now our new home. So farm zero one is over there now. That's where all of our farm plots are gonna be. HV tank. Oh, three. Turn on main power. Yes, sir. Can't see shit. Inside the cockpit. Matter. It is wide enough. is not tall enough. Ooh, it's just barely. Nice. Turn off main power. Acknowledged. Oh, we lucky. Sweet. That is great. Okay, so we got ourselves a tank, allowing us to be able to take on points of interest now. There's enough room to be able to actually park the thing inside. Nice. Because I actually wanted to have this thing be indoors. Luckily, no, that's not the case. Get ourselves the 240 iron. Hundred and thirty silicon. There we go. Okay. Don't dust. Eight. Okay. Upper ingots. Okay. 
did not want that. And nine growing plots. Nutrient solution. We need a bunch of nutrient solution. Half of that. Two here. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine. This will get us the spice plants. We're gonna have to go and get ourselves more iron in order to be able to make another, another one. All those are work being worked on. And go down to the water's edge here and drop off. Can't see shit. Oh god. Real quick. No, not that. There we go. Drop. all six back up the mountain just whoop, right in here If it wasn't for the fact that, that this thing would disassemble itself, I would just leave it in here, but I have to have it in my inventory or it will just destroy itself. Good looking good. Station still. Go see if the nutrient solution is done. It is good. Off then. Down to the construction area here. There. Concrete. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we'll put down the blueprint, and then we'll get that constructed, and then we will make spice. And then we'll do some uh, attacking of some points of interest. See if we can get anything useful. We've got the... We do have a colony nearby. So I'm thinking that's probably what we're going to do. We're probably going to go and take on this. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll go and destroy the colony. I think we took out, yeah, we took out all of the turrets. But in case there are a couple of turrets remaining, we'll have the tank to be able to do that. Because we've tested the tank. The tank works. Eventually here we're going to upgrade this thing, the front of this thing to be combat steel. So I can take on much more heavily defended areas. Yep, 
Got you. Right here. Place you down. Start production. We'll take 10 minutes. While the rain is falling, I'm going to go into here. Turn on main power. Get ourselves out of here. We will take the tank, take on the colony. While we're waiting for the spice farm to be made. Let's make sure we're not going to just shoot everything in sight. Okay. Oh, okay. Devices. Turret. Okay, we're good. Yeah. I think the rocket turrets are already set up. There we go. Got spiders trying to hit us. Got the poop transport. Go check out what it drops. At least something useful. To the colony. Yeah, if we're going to have, if we're going to defend ourselves against those transports, we're going to have to upgrade the. We're going to have to upgrade our defenses at our base. That's why we're going to need rocket turrets eventually. Use the colony. Let's find the front door. I don't see a front door. That used to be the front door. Oh yeah, that's definitely looks like the front door. Yeah, back around before I go blindly. Oh, there it is. There's the front door. Park this. We're gonna act. It's gonna act as a uh, battering ram while we do this. Can't see shit with the spotlight.
transport approaching. Oh boy. We need to find the core. Can't zoom in. Come on, there we go. Make sure. Come on, there we go. Ooh, we're good. Grab what we can. Where's the... Oh, there it is. Okay. Ow. Okay, we're good. Nice. Old, please replace. food yeah up we go aren't you there Damn it! Yep, backing off. Oh god! Oh god! Oh, he's trying to shoot me. Smile for the gamer, right? Yeah. Quick heals. That was definitely good resources spent getting that uh, first aid station on board. Definitely, definitely helped. I'm gonna eat all the energy bars here. Actually, I'm gonna eat this one too. There. Get all the bullets. Looking for the core. That's what we're looking for. Explosives. More stuff. Good. I'm going to shoot it from the elevator. <laughs> Extra careful. Got oxygen stations. These are landing pads up here. Oh. Hi, bye.
Ow. We took it out, though. We're good. I'm gonna go down, heal myself. Down stairs, maybe. Wonder where the uh, wonder where the core is. is at the very top or the very bottom? I just don't know. Ow! Dirt. you grab what we can ooh it's assault rifle too I'll take you one over here check out all that stuff mm-hmm Biotics. Yeah. Place it. Leave the alien parts. We don't need that. Where is your core? Oh, mister. Where is your core, mister? Wait, wait. I see it. Is that it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nicely done. Our first hardcore point of interest taken out. What you got? Give me all your fuel, please. Thank you. We good. We Gucci. Yeah. We have a fridge on this thing. I don't think we do. Yeah, I don't think we put a fridge on this thing. Oh well. Head back. Turn on main power. Not an option. First hardcore. Yeah. First hardcore uh point of interest taken out. Well, first point of interest uh taken out in hardcore. How do we have not had the, uh, if we didn't have the uh, ability to heal ourselves on this thing, we would have probably have died a couple of times. Try and get ourselves through here. Hey, Asgard, how's it going? Also took out a core. Yes. So hardcore. Yes, indeed. I was. That's totally it. That's totally it. Yeah. Yourselves back home. Drop off all the stuff we just got. Try not to run into rocks and trees. Failing miserably. We're gonna have to take on that armory here soon. Now that we have a ways... A way to take it all out. We still have to get all the ammunition needed for this thing. We got a minigun that's on the top of this thing, so we need to have the miniguns for it. Come on. Come on. 
Up to the top, thank you very much. There we go. There we go. And stop. Turn off main power. Turn off main power. As you wish. There we go. Hmm. So, so soft core is a rubber cube, maybe. That's totally it. You figured it out. Steel blocks. I'll drop. Yeah. Keep you here. Magnesium powder. That's good. Solar panels. Also good. Well fed. First aid. How are we doing bullets? Got these bullets off. Actually put all of the constructed items here. Got the many bullets. Put the alien tooths up here. You off, keep the O2 here. Got money card, got heavy weapons, we got rocket launcher. Nice. Put the meat away. So now you live in the White House alone. Or is the president in another room? Uh, no, no. I wouldn't call this a white house. It is white, but it's also yellow, too. It's mostly, you know, the untrolly uh, reason is because if I build this thing on any other planet and there's a lot of. It makes it easier to pick out from the, d the dark background, the cliffside. It's a lot easier to see. Even without the uh, indicators. Vanilla white? Maybe. Vanilla ice? What? Who know. Anti-parasite, anti-radiation pills. That. Uh, dropping off things here. Heavy weapon upgrade kit. Drop that off. Antibiotic injection. Rocket launcher. Yeah. Grayish whitish color? Maybe. I mean pretty much right now it's like the, the brightest color you can uh you have other than yellow. And I wasn't gonna make a yellow base. Or a yellow submarine. For that matter. Okay. Yeah, let's drop off the farm. Get the spice farm up and running. Plus it, I'm going with uh, Cerberus colors. Turn on main power. As you wish. I kind of went uh, when I was making the giant uh, destroyer in our other save. I went with Cerberus colors and I was just like, you know what? I'm going to just do Cerberus colors for all of them. White, yellow and gray. Pretty much what it is. In Germany, we sometimes say when we accidentally hit a red traffic light, there's also cherry green. Ah, nice. Officer, I swear that it looked more like cherry green. Is there voice commands now? No, I'm using a program called Voice, voice Attack. Voice Attack is a program that um, you can have running in the background that allows you to turn voice uh, commands into hotkeys. So every single time I say uh, a voice command that I have plugged in already, it will hit a, a key on the keyboard for me. 
gives that feeling of having a, a, an assistant AI helping you out. Spawn in. There we go. Here's our next farm. Gonna be spice. We need to add fuel to this thing. There we go. Make sure that this thing's got the power turned on. How are we doing? Power's on, good. Oxygen. We need oxygen inside here. Set this thing up with spice. And then we'll have all three ingredients needed to be able to make ourselves the dino stew. But for those who are new here, I am currently pl I'm playing under the uh, currently right now, the game doesn't have hardcore, so I'm giving myself the rule set of hardcore. In other words, if I die, even once, no matter how far into the playthrough I am, I immediately delete the save. Uh, I'm also coming, I'm also using the rule set of that I am only going to use blueprints that I have myself made. So I'm not allowed to drop a starter core. I'm not allowed to start a drop a starter core in the save. I'm allowed to adjust those things afterwards, but I'm not allowed to build anything from scratch. I'd like to grow my own stuff, but I can't find any bacon seeds. No bacon seeds. Travesty. That's a travesty right there. Yeah, that's spice. Which means I on my other save, I have to, you know, create, test, and make sure that they can be easily adaptable. That's why a lot of the designs are, you know, modular. There we go. These will grow. Next one I have to do is herbal, uh, herbalism seeds. So as I go along, as soon as I get through the mid game, which the mid game I have decided is going to be from level 10 to level 20 will be the uh, mid game. So I went through and made myself a whole bunch of dis uh, modules, blueprints, which will allow me to get through the early game and then the mid game. And then once we get to level 20, then we'll be considered ourselves into the beginning of the late game and then we have to go to the save and start designing uh, blueprints that will get us through the late game the I will consider a hardcore playthrough successful when we go and take out the alien fortress it's this floating uh, ball of nope usually found on a lava planet that have tons of dudes inside of it got tons of alien hostiles inside of it turrets in the walls we took it out uh, once on our very first playthrough it it's a pain but if we can do that in a hardcore with the risk of having to start all the way over i think that's very useful now ops killed by lightning strikes right yeah that would that that could happen i mean i wouldn't put it be, i wouldn't put past the game where it just all of a sudden Hits me with a a big nope. Hits me by a, I get struck by a thing of lightning and then all of a sudden end of run. That would be horrible. But I could see that happening. Let's see. Have that. But that's what makes it uh, makes this particular playthrough pretty fun is because. At any point, you could lose it all and have to start all the way over. There we go. Some oxygen. What's also really cool about these modules are that is that no matter what planet I'm on, I can build these things and they're perfectly fine. 
Okay, let's see here. Turn on the oxygen. Not like we need to, but I'm gonna. Okay, let those grow. We're eventually going to have to build one more farm, but we need enough iron to do it. So the next thing we have, next thing we have to make, we have a warp capable ship. We've made the tank. I'm trying to think of what else we could make. Probably the furnace. Not like we need it. A level 12 item. Trying to make it to where I have plenty of things to create that will act as stepping stones up to level 20. We need to figure out a whole bunch of different modules that we can create that will give us a reason to level up. That will make our make things easier. Okay, we've got a level 15, just like plasma turrets and the multi turrets. Just checking here. Little ship. Yeah, we've got this huge gap in between 12 and 20 that we have to fill with things. Ooh, repair console. Unlock you. Yeah, rocket turret. Projectile turret. Okay. Mm, that. Capital ships. We may have to go in a repair bay, a lock. Level two. Level twenty will be the repair bay tier two. Okay. Unlock that. Might as well. Fuel cells will be level twenty. I got an auto miner. Well, 15 would be tier two. I don't think I've gotten any cores yet. I was looking through all of the things that I can make, and it doesn't seem like much, much other than weaponry. Hmm. Yeah. Well, the colony's been taken care of. I'm probably going to go and take, take on the armory next. I'm going to have to restock on missiles. I was going to have to make ourselves a whole bunch of bullets. Turn off main bar. Okay, executing now. Yeah, so let's take care of that right now. Okay. 20 of the 20 crafts of those air cells drop off all this there we go yeah, tanks refueled bases refueled okay Myself something to eat real quick. There we go. Good on oxygen, good on health. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're gonna go take on the armory. Okay, this one, colony's been taken care of. We destroyed the core, it's no longer an issue. So, place that. We need to go to the armory. Let's take on the armory. That's being made. Make ourselves a whole bunch of these. One side will be missiles, the other side will be bullets. 
I'm level 55 SP finished and in workshop. Now time for fun with with your food. Nice. Very, very nice. You, okay. Wait, do I, did I make a, I did. Uh, where is it? Armored, where is it? Armored rockets. Make a rock. I like an armored rockets. Let's go and make a rocket turret. Alcatone, how's it going? Okay, so let's grab. We need four ingots, cobalt. Make a rocket turret. Why not? Those. Nice. Yeah, okay, silicon. So we need fifty silicon. Okay, twenty copper. NPM is a link if you're interested. Okay. No problem. Yeah, lots well, making bullets here. Okay, Sathium. Well, this Sathium. Near down Sathium. Where's a the smaller? There it is. Oh, wrong one. Go right here. And I think that's like 75 iron. Good. Okay. Start production on the rockets. And we got plenty of these bullets now. That's good. Come over here. Okay, we don't need that many. This thing is only designed to take out troops rather than anything else. They're designed to take out anything with a weapon that gets too close to the tank. 2,000 bullets should be more than enough. At least for what we're trying to accomplish. Okay. Now let's see here. Do, 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 do. Go to base. Get an ATM set up in here. So we can... Because we're going to get a ton of credits, especially when we're going to take on the armory with all the troops. They're going to give us tons of credits, so we need to be able to deal with them immediately. Let's check out this look at Thunderbolt's design here. You probably made a bunch of progress on those bases. Let's see here. I don't have it set up to where you guys can see it. Oh, nice. Ah. You made it look like there's headphones on the spaceship. That's great. Oh, nice. Very nice. I approve. That's good. That's pretty sweet that you put, made it look like I had headphones on the side of it. That's great. Okay, we're going to... Drop you right here for now. Pause it, please. Thank you. Credits, credits for what we're trying to do in this uh, in this particular game. Game safe. Just thought I'd watch while I'm making my CV. No problem. Turn on main power. Initiating. Yeah. Pretty much what this uh, channel is, really. A lot of people who are playing this game who just need something playing in the background or or people who are interested in this game and don't know what it is. 
I try to explain it to the best of my ability. But it's a it's relatively new combination of game mechanics really that they're trying to accomplish. It's not it's it's kind of like an open box uh, uh, open world sandbox game, but it's also a survival game. A little bit like Subnautica at times. Been playing for a while, yeah. I've been playing for about 300 hours right now. I'm still playing it, so doesn't seem like I'm going to be stopping anytime soon. Okay. See if we can get ourselves safely to the uh, armory here. Thirteen hundred hours on my side. Yeah, nice. Done three times that. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, when I started playing this, I wasn't expecting uh, to like it as much as I have. I was expecting it to be a lot uh, like certain uh, survival games I've played, where I'd play it for like. Maybe a month, and then I'd be like, okay, now let's play something different. Because, you know, this game was, uh, from, from, you know, from what I knew, it was very similar to Minecraft. So I was just like, oh, I'm probably going to have as, just as much uh, replay value as Minecraft. Oh, come on. Don't get stuck. Would you please destroy the turrets? Thank you. Oh, God. We can't let this thing turn around. Okay, we need to back off. Lick our wounds a little bit here. For some reason, our turrets stopped shooting. We need to figure out why. They probably got destroyed. Huh. Aliens attacking. Pull out the nukes, right? Yeah. They probably got destroyed. I got a feeling. Check. Yep, they're gone. Okay. Hey, Sith Row, how's it going? Yeah. Let's go and take care of our lack of turrets right now. First, let me take a selfie, right? Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, my, uh, my tank was taking out the, the drones rather than dealing with the giant fucking turrets laying into it. So, yeah, that's annoying. So we gotta get, we gotta go and make, we gotta make our, uh, we make our turrets. I use the CV to attack them, then bring in my HV. Yeah. Right now, our our SV that we have currently is very lightly armored, so it probably wouldn't be able to take a direct hit from a plasma turret. Plus, there's like four plasma turrets in a in a laser turret on that thing. So, trying to attack it from the air just means that we have all four firing on us rather than two at a time. But at least we took out the majority of the nope that was attacking. Excuse me. Thank you. Yeah, let's make a new one. Yeah. Hmm. 
see here. Hovercraft, weapons. Make two of those. And while that's working, we're going to repair the blocks that thankfully were not destroyed. Held up pretty nicely. At least our defenses were uh, good enough. Some of them were near death, but it didn't hit us. That's the important part. We have turned this hangar into a repair bay eventually. But that's going to that's going to require end game materials, which we don't have a CV. We haven't designed a CV for hardcore yet. I'm, gonna, I'm in the background. Eat something nice. Like, don't mind me. I'm just going to be uh, eating my food and watching you uh, mess up horribly. Okay, that's good. That sounds like a good idea. Yeah, that's that's perfect plan. That's plan. Perfect plan. I call this a... Uh, well, this uh, design was very successful. That's a good thing. Have you had a look at the Ultimate Iron Man series? They they play hard mode on that game. Really? Hard mode or hardcore? Do they delete the save if they die? Drones incoming. Oh, well, we got defenses up. We got flat cannon and a cannon pointing up on the ridge. So, if you die, you're out for the season. Oh wow! Kind of like a hardcore server, pretty much. Yeah, I don't think any of my. I don't think any of the designs I've made would survive PvP. Nor have I actually designed them to survive an encounter against another player. I'd have to completely uh, change the design philosophy completely. All single player missions each week? Really? Hmm. I'll have to look into it. Yeah, what are we doing? I think we are repaired. Yeah, I think we're repaired. Oh, missed a couple blocks in. Yeah, we're good. Maybe. Season zero is in the workshop. Oh, okay. Okay. So it's like it's like a campaign, essentially. It's a player made campaign. I need to really learn how to do that. Make my own campaign. Gotta figure out a good way of making one. Well, come up with a good idea. There we go. Rockets done. 
many rockets left over? 70, that's good. Because I want to make one that's more of like survival oriented. Oh, come on. Very got turrets. Very got turrets. That was fetters. Turn it all off. Now it's here. It's warp drive. Thrusters all of that stuff. Need to do that for all of these here. There we go. Light a group. Yeah, got the minigun. There we go. They all record it each week and then upload to YouTube. Okay, so okay, so it's a it's like a YouTube series, essentially. Okay. Yeah. I have to look into it, see how hard it is. Or is it you know, is it fair or is it just meant to be impossible because there is a way to make the game impossible that's easy very easy to make a game impossible very difficult to make a game challenging because you could it's very easy to make this game impossible you just make everything hit you and one kill you in one shot there you go impossible game eat that <laughs> everybody hits you once you immediately just Explode and giant mushroom cloud cloud. Uh. Fair, but don't make sense if you if not you die. Okay. I'll have to look into it. I'm particular when it comes to difficult games. I mean, uh, like for instance, uh, the only game that I've played as much as this is uh, The Long Dark, which The Long Dark is a it's a game where you're having to de uh, deal with harsh winters. Oh, uh, excuse me, turrets. You wouldn't mind. Thank you very much. Okay. Shit. Okay. Come on. Let's go. Keep going. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Okay. We've uh, messed up on some settings on the rockets. Six percent, fifty percent, of course. Yeah, of her basis. There we go. By the group. Let's get out of the ship and repair those things before they could, so we don't have to come back and. Uh... So we don't have to make two more rocket turrets. Your rocket launchers are a little bit too deep on the front. No, it's... I had the wrong settings. They were... They were desi They were currently set to only attack uh, NPCs and drones. Yeah, because these see, you see this like target group one required player faction alien faction prey predator and then you got the subgroup for alien faction npcs and drones hover vessels small vessels capital vessels bases and then select one required hv sv cv ba 
I didn't have this selected. So it was targeting the turrets and mounted we weapons for NPCs, drones, and players only. Didn't have bases. So make sure it's applied to group. Yeah. So it should target the uh, the turrets now. There it goes. Just need to find this. There's the front entrance right there. Park the front park here. Front entrance. Oh, wait. We got a raptor. Gotta back off here. Go into here. No, here. Minigun. Predators, please. We lost a rocket launcher, but we're not dead. That's the important part. I'd rather lose a rocket launcher than have me have to uh, start all the way over again. Lost another rocket turret. Fine. We've got two layers of blocks of hardened steel blocks in between us and the front of this thing. So we did some testing and we found out how the how damage uh, influences the blocks. And as long as we don't lose a block, it won't even touch the layer underneath. this real quick. There we go. Rest of the dinosaur. Also known as a raptor. That's why I park him at the front of the front entrance. Yeah. Be careful not to hit those guys. Bunch of containers right here. Hello. Don't mind me. Why don't you use your drone as a scout? Oh, I could. Good. Taking these containers while we can. to destroy right here. 
Were these parked on top of a whole bunch of storage containers? Really? It was. Holy crap. Grab the ones that were destroyed first. How odd, don't you think? Yeah. Before those despawn. Yeah. Use the double checking. Those are robots. Those are definitely the robots. Okay. here check the other side nope that's the only entrance how uh, unlucky for me yes yeah, so we're gonna have to wait oh. yeah, nothing in here for shame okay Another collection of doors in here, so. Wow, this has got le several la layers of nope in here. Yeah. Several layers of nope. Alcatone, thank you for the follow. Will we live? Will we die? We don't know. Be careful. Okay, we're good. Oh man, I didn't check for uh Yeah, I didn't tr I didn't uh check for Oh god. We didn't check for uh trap doors. Oh, oh man. Okay. Ourselves back into here. Heal ourselves just a little bit. Okay, we got some food. A little bit. We didn't, uh, we didn't add a, uh, constructor onto this thing, so we can't turn that meat into anything useful quite yet. Hi, robots. The minigun will be much more useful here. 
hoping that they can. There we go. Is it just the one? Check. Oh, we got more robots on the way. Bullets, pistol bullets, and right here. Excuse me. Hello. He's stuck inside. Okay. This real quick. I'm double checking to make sure I don't fall through a trap door here. Here, block, hole, 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 hole. Hole, 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 interior block, hole, hole. Okay, there's the inside. can do this. There we go. Hey! Nice. Got an auto miner core. How about that? And fusion fuel. Even better. Uh, drop you off. Drop the egg off. Got a large generator. Nice. And I'm probably going to leave the wood planks. I don't exactly need those right now. Okay, we got, we've checked it out all the way until here. Hello? Good me, sir. Would you like to talk about our Lord and Savior, Cthulhu? No? No. Oh, you're gonna stop that far, huh? Hi. How you doing? Come on. Come on. Follow the birdie. Totally safe out here. Totally safe. You should go and check it out. What's that sound? Eh. 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 Yeah. Forgive me if I don't 100% trust this. I don't hear anything. Uh, thank you. There we go. Core is destroyed. Sure. Here your block. Hull, hull. More hull. 
all the halls. Okay, we're good. Pulse laser. Another large generator. Estrium ore. Nice. Drop that off. Got a medical device. Even better. Leave an energy matrix. Gonna leave the pistol. Ammo. Raw plastic. We got plenty of that. Uh, magnesium. Hardened steel blocks. Nice. Um, cement. With the cement. Okay. Nice. Oh, we took this out. We got all those containers, though. We have to go and check through. Up on the top, underneath the turrets. Go check them all out. Here's hoping we get another auto miner core. That would be great. That'd be awesome. Or they'll be full of nothing. That's always possible. Just iron ingots. Go and let's drop them onto the uh, storage on the back. What they're there for. There we go. For raw materials we don't have to get later. That's what this is for. Raw plastic. Grab you. You nice uh, magnesium powder for more rockets. Whoa! Oh, nice. I hear that. Don't like I hear that. I do. Yeah. Got biofuel. Drill charge. Probably start salvaging. Ooh, gold ingots. Take those. Uh, let's go into retrieve blocks. That way we can do this. Nothing in there. We got four turrets worth. To go check through. Magnesium, nice. Ooh, can get. Ah. Can get iron ingot. Silicon ingot. Good planks. Copper. Plastic. Iron ingots. Good planks. Biofuel. Magnesium. Iron ingots. What kind of ingots? Good planks. Plastic. Cobalt. Iron. Iconium. There we go. Could um, we get rid of steel plates? Probably. No. Protein pellets. Copper silicon. Cobalt. Yeah. Just grabbing things that are a little harder to get than just silicon. Because one single silicon easy thing to get is pretty easy to get. By getting the magnesium, we don't have to make a tr as many trips to 
we don't have to make a bunch of trips out to the uh, moon. Dust, don't care. Magnesium, thank you. Silicon, no. No. Nice. Ooh. Uh, magnesium. Drill charge. Nothing. Astro. Rium? Well, thank you. Ooh. Okay. Hey, jerk. Yeah, I know you're there. Sure. Aww. So they took out the ability to access uh, containers using your drones. That's no longer a thing. Yeah, you can't access any of them. That's going to be difficult at times. Especially if you die in an inconvenient spot. Okay, where's that? That jerk. He's down there. I see him. The guy's going to try and break down the, uh, Oh my god. Oh well. Magnesium. Cobalt and ink. Iron. Biofuel. Iron. Okay, so... Now that we've learned that the trick of uh, getting all your stuff back if you die using your drone isn't a thing anymore. That's gonna... We're gonna have to be extra careful then. It's not like it's going to help us if we die, but it's gonna help us in, uh, in our other playthrough. Should we die? Uh, head back. Ouch! I broke a leg. Break a leg! Oh, trauma kit. How about that? Get out of here. Head on back. With our... Our gotten gains. Weapon malfunctioning. I hate that they consider those green, uh, those brown and green bugs as predators. They don't exactly attack you very often. When they do, it's kind of like, well, the fuck. Oh, for fuck's sake. This is gonna be slow. We slowly move. Of course we flip over. Of course we flip over. Why well, would I expect anything less from this game? Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Okay, I need to shut that thing off. We don't need to fire at every single thing along the way. Then you go. How about you turn off? Thank you. <laughs> Stupid thing rolling over. No, there it goes again. 30 meters up in the air. You think you can uh, 
split the difference, maybe? It'd be nice if it could split the difference. You know. Wish it would, like, even out to wherever the, uh, pull of gravity is, maybe. Maybe go that far. Rather than where flat ground is. Like, I really care about... I could care less what flat ground is. I would rather it just stay upright. There we go. Yeah. I had to manually turn it off. Okay. Drop off what we got. Auto core. A pulse la laser, a pulse rifle tier two, a shotgun tier two. Well, ain't that nice? Replace that. All this off. Fusion cell, pulse laser, medical device. Drop you off, drop you off. Looks like someone's point of interest hunting. Yep. You know, got ourselves to a point where we actually have a means of taking them out. But we built ourselves a tank with a minigun and two rocket launchers. One of our rocket launchers got destroyed the last time we went there. But it's designed to be a very basic way of being able to assault those things. It'll get us past the mid game and into the late game where we're going to build ourselves a proper assault tank. It's going to be a large assault tank. This is a this is considered a light assault tank. Which I got to figure out what that looks like. I suggest the Merc pretty cheap too. Ah, uh, no, I'm going to be only use uh, for for my heart. Uh, currently, right now, I'm using the hardcore rule set. And right now, I'm giving myself the rule that I can only use things I myself have designed. I'm not going to take something off the workshop. I'm just not. Because, I mean, if I'm just going to take things off the workshop, let's just be honest. I might as well be playing a different game. Because half of the half of the game is designing something from scratch. In fact, I went and uh, made myself a creative save, where I just spawn in these uh, designs off the workshop just to look at them. You need a, yeah. Oh yeah. That's why. That's what I'm uh, shooting for then. This tank is made of hardened steel, so all I really have to do, if I wanted to, is I could just get a bunch of uh, Sathium and just, you know, upgrade this all to uh, combat steel right away. I'm not, I'm not afraid of hard work and things taking uh, a lot longer. T things taking longer. I'm not afraid of it. I'm not afraid of work. one of the major things that uh, that got me into the game in the first place is building something from scratch coming up with a game plan trying to figure out the best course of action if I just take it off of the workshop I would learn nothing about the game my ability to play this game would not improve Being replaced. Drop that off. Okay, we're getting hungry. Go take care of that real quick. Yeah, because.
because I want to get better at the game. I just don't want to use the workshop as a crutch. Let's see here. Be a salami just to kind of take the edge off. Oh, wait. There we go. Okay. Good as new. Go and grab all this then. Place it back into here. See here. Okay, I got fusion cell, I got biofuel, antitoxic ointment. Drop off those. Okay. Okay, so we assaulted two points of interest today. That's good. Check on our spice farm. Turn on main power. Unable to comply. Uh, let's feed ourselves first. There we go. Food. A little bit of a requirement. Just slightly. Okay. Okay. We haven't seen the we haven't seen our flak turret and our cannon turret take any, anything attacking us yet, so we don't know if those the combination of those two will protect us from assaults. Well, let's check on the farm, make sure that they've uh, been dealt with here. That's definitely... That's a visual glitch right there. That's not destroyed. Yeah, they're at 100%. How are we doing? Sprout, sprout, sprout. They're still... Still haven't grown. I got a feeling I have to be within a certain distance from them, maybe? No, no, these are still growing. These are still producing, that's good. what we can we don't have to worry about plastic or food for a while okay <laughs> yeah the farm is still growing a little bit once we get the spice farm then we can make the dino stew which will be an a backup uh food well healing option the armory's been taken out armory's been cleared i have to go and tr check out where our next uh target's gonna be we may have to do some exploring if there's anything close to us. Maybe. Excuse me, game. Thank you. Let me in. I demand to get in. Yeah. You off. Drop you here. Let's drop this off. We got fusion cells. Um, nope. Yep. Fill that up. I don't think I'm probably going to drop all this stuff in here. All the extras. Extras we don't need. It's going to be raining again. Lovely. Yep. Check the map. 
Okay, unknown helix. We've got the village that's nearby. The armory has been taken care of, so we'll leave that waypoint. Uh, let's do exploring. Let's go up here and we'll go down south. We'll add another section onto our explored area. We still got this down here, the weapons bunker. We haven't gone and destroyed yet. We got another point of interest right here also. The most hostile area seems to be the south. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go do a bit of exploring then. Next start. If we can find a weapons bunker that's a little bit closer to us, that'd be great. We still haven't found uh, uh, anything like medium armor or heavy armor. Uh, let's see here. Start from the northern part of the Northern Hemisphere, work our way south. into this level are we? Eh. Wait. Armor. Unnecessary. Oh. We need to replace our armor. Armor's pretty much dead. That's why we need the med medium armor. It can take a lot more punishment from going to points it points of interest. We don't want to have to constantly replace them. barely see. Hope you live. I hope I live too. Thanks for coming and hanging out. I would really much, I would very much like to be able to get into the late game on this playthrough. Not exactly a requirement at all. Mostly because, well, we've already got, like, our other save is already in the late, far within the late game. That's why I started playing these ones, so that I can do, get better at my early game. In fact, our other save, we've already made a 200 meter long destroyer that's just kind of sitting there gathering dust, looking pretty. Not exactly something you'd want to use uh, a lot, because they would just be extremely expensive to uh, drive around. I forget even landing it on the surface of a planet. That thing would never be able to take off without going through its entire fuel supply. Hey, look, there's something floating in the air. You know what? Mainframe. There we go. Something's new over there. Trying to load it in. Arms array. Yeah. Fortification. Yeah, let's not get too close to that. 
It's not yet. I'm trying to load in all the AI. That's kind of lagging out a bit. Uh, also, not going to try and get too close to this. We're not going to get too close to the surface. You're new. Do you a temple? I think this might be a temple. Defense two. Okay. There's another defense over here. That's another colony. Oh yeah, we got a lot of nope down here, don't we? Can't go into the... listening post. Get high up into the air. Ouch. Go. Just go. Just go. Full speed, go. That's a bunch of drones down there. Yeah. Okay. We didn't exactly lose anything. We lost a block. Okay. I was perfectly fine going over because we had enough blocks uh, in between our internal devices that we could definitely uh, lose a couple of blocks and be per perfectly fine. this way a bit now that's now that the skies are clear over here without that armory come on game oh, getting all laggy come on I'm gonna go over here there's a unseen something over here I think it might be a deposit of some sort. Or it might be a wreck. That's possible. Guarded by something. Iron deposit. Go. Let that hit the ground. The drones seem to be uh, working again, but they're kind of uh, struggling. Take what we can. Let's get ourselves back home. I'm gonna look into uh probably gonna try and make myself a whole bunch of make myself a whole bunch of iron steel pla uh, uh reinforced plate the hardened plate and upgrade the bottom of this thing to be able to take on being shot at from below also probably should check out that damaged alien tower tomorrow you have to do that tomorrow But the good thing is that the uh, the two things that were closest to us were taken out today. So we've uh, increased the amount of dist safe area around our base. It's great. So technically we've taken over like a quarter of the planet right now. Or at least close to a quarter. So 
we still got like 75% of the plant left to clear. Turn off main bar. Engaging. There we go. We didn't lose anything. Oh, you lost a block there. Lost a block. Yep. Yeah. Looks fine to me. Got another minigun round. More minigun rounds, yay! Not like I use them. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna call it here. Thank you all for hanging out with me. I gotta go to work. So, I would play a lot longer, but work calls, work beckons. So, hope to see y'all later. Tomorrow I'm gonna be playing this game. We're gonna be trying to get a little bit further along. I'm gonna try and get ourselves some more levels by attacking a couple of more points of interest here. Uh, yeah, we got the comms array, we got a fortification we gotta have to destroy, the listening post in the colony down here, it's relatively close to there. We've got a lot of open space in between every single point of interest in this playthrough, but they seem to get more concentrated the more we head to the other side of the planet. Which is uh, good and bad. Good because, well, it's going to give us a lot of things to attack, but bad because eventually we're going to hit a point, especially these uh, defense tower, these defense emplacements. We're going to need a stronger tank. We're going to need a much more heavily armored tank because this uh, light tank is going to only get us so far. So we're probably going to have to go and design ourselves a heavy tank. So anyway, thank you all for hanging out. Stay alive out there. Don't drop your drink. I'll see y'all later. Bye.